This is the blind attack, a stupidly idiotic racing technique that may just be usable with a stroke of luck. It involves turning your lights off in the pitch darkness of night in a bid to disorientate your opponent and allowing you to overtake. There are a few known instances of this technique being used, but it was initially deemed as a proper technique by that weird Japanese cartoon. However, by now we all know that this show isn't the most realistic. Despite this, there is a famous real world example, and it was in an endurance race at Le Mans. It's the classic tale of Ford versus Ferrari. The Ford is bidding for an overtake coming into this chicane. He knows the Ferrari will defend hard, so he switches his lights off. The Ferrari is confused and naturally not wanting to cause a wreck, he shifts all the way to the inside, allowing the Ford past. Outstanding move. Although I'm going to ruin the moment. This is actually a glitch in the camera's auto exposure, which is why all the lights seemingly turn off not just the Fords. Sorry weebs, but turning your lights off on a racetrack is highly illegal, especially in a 24 hour race at Le Mans. However, all hope is not lost. Something must have initialized the craze that put this technique into motorsporting folklore, right? There's a legendary race driver known as Tazio Nuvolari. He earned the moniker of the magic driver because you never knew what he was going to do next. He even finished a race without a steering wheel after it had become detached in the first lap. He finished 13th. That's the kind of driver we're talking about. In 1930, Nuvolari was fighting tirelessly against his rival, Vasi, throughout the night. Although his rival was far ahead and was comfortable in his position, all he had to do was cruise to victory. Noticing he wasn't gaining, Nuvolari had the ingenious idea to turn his headlights off. Of course, this meant he was driving in excess of 70 miles per hour, illuminated only by the moonlight. But it did mean that Vasi wasn't pressured to keep the pace up. Thinking that Nuvolari had fallen back, Vasi became complacent and eventually slowed down. Then Nuvolari caught up after a few kilometers, and Vasi was taken aback by the sudden gush of wind passing by him a ghost car with no headlights. Then Nuvolari switched back on his lights and sailed away to victory. So we have three examples of the blind attack. One is from a cartoon, the other is a glitch with a camera, and the third was done by an absolute nutter pre-World War II. So does this technique actually hold any merit in today's motorsporting world? Well, I'm here to tell you today that I have created my own brand of the blind attack. I've carefully crafted my own version of this technique, and rather creatively, I call it the TSRB attack. And I want to see videos of this technique on YouTube whenever you put it into use. I'll be watching. It's the only variation of the blind attack that I've found to work. Sure, turning your headlights off going into a turn may look cool, but it's dangerous. Even if you know the corner well, even a millisecond of turning in too late could result in a crash. And that's before you even add a defending driver into the equation. As for the Nuvolari technique, well, it's possible, but again, ultimately pointless. So let's get on to the TSRB attack. So the more avid sim racers of you will know there's a way of communicating on the track. It's not through Discord, via hand gestures, or horn. It's done with headlights. Whether you're trying to warn someone of a potential hazard, saying thanks for a gentlemanly piece of driving, or telling them you're going for an overtake. A flash of the headlight is the universal language of sim racers. And if you're a particularly filthy driver, a dirty little rat, you could exploit this. Let me show you how it's done. So I'm behind this guy about halfway through a race. I know he's got around a hundred more laps of practice than me, and he's a few tenths faster. I'm keeping up, but there's no chance of an overtake, meaning I'm stuck in fourth position and have no chance at a podium, or so I thought. We're traveling towards a particularly tricky corner, Brands Hatch's Paddock Hill. It's an extremely fast downhill right bend. The compression of the corner glues you to the road, but you have to be laser focused going into it, because a single moment of hesitation will put you wide into the gravel trap. Just before he's about to turn in, I spam flash my headlights. This draws his attention away from his driving, just for a split second. He probably thought I was trying to warn him of a hazard or an overtake, but that split second was all I needed. He turns in just too late, making him run wide onto the gravel pit, and then I never saw him again for the rest of the race. He 
he probably rage quit after he realised what just happened. And that is my technique. A scummy one for sure, but you'd be amazed at just how effective this is. And these effects grow exponentially at night. Just spam your headlights before a particularly tricky or fast corner and watch your opponents crumble. But do you want to know how else to beat your opponents? Learning how to drive downforce correctly. Click on this video in which I tell you all about it.